In fact, you legally cannot get involved in day to day management of the school. However, after consultation, we do get to set the goals and aspirations of the school through its charter document. We make no apology for setting these goals and aspirations high because we believe they are achievable. The decision on how we achieve these aims falls on Mr. Denham and his management team. The most, and I've got that in capital, the most important job we have is to appoint the principal. Something we did after a very considered process last year, and I want you all to know that the board is very, very satisfied with Mr. Denham. We look forward to the direction Mr. Denham has taken the school. As an aside, I'd like to mention next year there's a new board election process. And if any of you want to give service to the board, it's a very rewarding job. We'd love you to put your name forward because we have a few members that are retiring. We'd also like to thank John Steiger, the immediate past student rep, and welcome Daniel Clark, the new student rep on the board for next year. Anyway, enough about the board because students, this night is about you and your families too, because they should bask in your glory. You are the award winning students that have taken on the challenge, done so well, and we're all here to celebrate your many achievements. Your hard work and endeavour, along with the support from staff, has led you to your success. Some of you will be leaving school this year, and I'd like to offer one small bit of advice from an oldish man. For years, we had a sign hanging in our dining room which is what I've tried to base my life on. And it read, life is not about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. What you are and who you are is not set in stone. You alone get to decide what sort of person you are. All of you will have come from different backgrounds and have had different challenges growing up. All of you will have new challenges in the future, some good, but some bad too. The world can be a tough place. <coughs> But it will always be your decision alone on how you react to these challenges. The board's wishes you continue on the great path you've already taken, face those challenges head on, and take total control of your life. Never stop wanting to learn. Having control over your life will give you more happiness and freedom than you probably can imagine. Up to now, I've not mentioned the one word to me that describes Massey High the best. And luckily I'm the first up tonight, because I'm sure I'll be mentioned many more times. The word is opportunity. But the opportunity I see is not just a massive guy. The opportunity I see for you is what is happening in our area. In my opinion, for many years the West was treated shabbily by Auckland Regional Council. They didn't want development industries to provide work to our people. They saw the West as their playground. And it didn't matter that thousands of us, it's actually 65,000 people go down that North West motorway every day to work, had to drive down the North West motorway for work. Massey was built with a heart, without a heart or services. How things are changing for the better. We're lucky to have strong advocates on the Auckland Council, such as Linda Cooper, who's here tonight, and our Deputy Mayor Penny Hoss, working for our area, because there are many people who have tried to stop this progress out west. There will be a massive transformation around us in the next couple of decades, and all I see are huge opportunities for you, once you've finished your formal education. My last bit of advice is grab them, because if you don't, somebody else will. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roger. I now call on our principal, Mr. Denham, to give his address. Kia ora koutou, te whānau. I'd like to welcome the students' family, so Mr. Grouger, um, our board of trustees, our guests, and our uh, uh, messy high school uh, staff, um, welcome to tonight. I just got some some really uh, 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 quick apologies. I just Mr. Richie um, sends his apologies. Um, uh, I don't have to tell you what a great man he is, and um, and I still call him boss because uh, you know he's left a magnificent legacy here at the school. He doesn't like me calling him boss, but he is my boss. And um, the big shoes to fill, even those minor size four teams, there's a massive shoes to fill. But he sends his love, um, um, he's away. He said, Tell people I'm doing some education. He's not, he's off on holiday with his wife. Just a better thing, a good thing, so he sends his love. I just want to fire Awa Hudson. I don't know if anyone saw um, a fire in the intelligent for the All Blacks play walking down to Twickenham for their poise. It was fantastic. So, fire is, I think she's coming back from. 
he met this way, which is in my moment to the game. Uh, Matua Tan Williams was going to be here to come make it tonight. And um, Prime Minister John Key sends his apologies. <laughs> I don't know if he was going to come, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I just want to talk a little bit about, uh, just say this one thing, I've said it twice, it's so important. There is no greater calling than to teach young people. Certainly, there is no greater calling than to teach young people. It is uh, not only uh, the colleagues. Uh, on stage, our family on stage, but there's a number of principals that are here sitting in the audience now. Um, you know, uh, uh, David Waikato and uh, Bruce Barnes, bless you for the job you're doing, you're good people, thank you for all that you're doing, and others that are involved in teaching. There's no greater job. Um, I spent 15 years in um, the classrooms and 10 years in, in um, senior leadership. And um, I, I can only, and I have met everybody, I have met all the students. You know, it's a big bustling school here, but I, I, you know, I will get out about um, next year. But I, I can only be like you can only be marked by your actions. You know, I can communicate things, but it's better if I show you, you know, uh, what I believe in and what I think a successful education is. And uh, you know, and you'll be able to deduce from there those expectations that I like as a as a as a principal. The first thing I want to say is that um, uh, I am the first servant of the school. Can I, can I, I need to share that with you because that's important. Um, your young people are the most important people in this, in this room. It's almost like an inverted triangle. I'm at the bottom. Do you know, these people behind me here are far more important because they do the work in the classroom. But can I tell you brilliantly? They work in the classroom. My leadership team, but right at the top is our students because they've got to come first. It's immaterial at the end of it. And as I said, Mr. Richie um, would echo the same thing. Um, you know, we would both like to go off and eventually finish off to the distance, you know, because it's what happens to you that's the most important thing. Um, I'm a huge admirer of great teachers. I'm a huge fan of great teachers. Um, I believe that if we get the teacher right in the classrooms, behaviour issues and attendance issues just, they fade away and kids are engaged. Um, I marvel when I go and watch some of the people that are behind me on stage here and to the side of me, um, what they do. And teachers of fitness, and I've been in the classroom for a few years now, and I, one of these people had to coach me and get me back in the fitness of teaching. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a fan of yours. Um, I, what you do is um, shake your head sometimes, because I am my best at doing that. What you do is great, because that's your outcome right here, sitting here. So the production of what you're doing is right here, and this is a celebration of that time. I always tell people, I think, um, students and young people like cars, and, um, and staff like Petrol. And so I'm committed to high quality um, uh, professional development for our staff. We've got a high quality Petrol for our kids to go a long way. Um, secondly, I believe in no child left behind. I think it's an important thing. Um, I think every student needs to have a high quality um, secondary qualification. Um, every student will need some sort of post secondary qualification in a, in a 21st century, in an economic world that's shrinking. You know, it's no longer the 50s and 60s when it, when it was all the back, we used to do spam and lots of stuff. Now it's in the brain. So it's a changing world, the dynamics have changed. The dynamics have changed. And so I believe that um, um, it's about our goals, 100% graduation. I, I, I share something with you. You know, our government is saying we one in the church, just not enough. It's just not enough. I, I, I'm, you know, I know the staff don't know, the kids know that. It's just not enough. We need to do more. And that should be an entitlement for all kids going into NCA. 100 percent should come up with level one and level two. Mm -hmm. Level three they should get, level four, we're talking about how much money you earn. That's what we're talking about. You know, we're committed to staff to make those things a possibility, but no child can be left behind, no you can be left behind. And so that's important. I think it's a failing education system where that doesn't doesn't happen. Uh, the third thing I like to say is, and, and I, I, I hope students will be able to tell you, attendance is massively important. We need bums on seats. We need kids to turn up every single day. One of the first things we decided that, you know, 90% of attendance at anything will not keep you in a job. Will not keep you in a job. That's one of the things I said to the staff, and, you know, we had lots to talk about, and they brought into it, um, hot water and sinker. You know, I, I can't give these young people a certificate because they'll come nine days a week and have a couple of, uh, and I've said to them, here's a certificate, certificate have Friday off. What I'm consigning the kids to doing is it's having 20 days off a year, 100 days off a year during their schooling. Uh, um, it's too important, education is too urgent for that. That's why we say strive for 95, strive for 95% or above. Because if any of us employed, working, that kind of thing, we'd say we would have it, we set on Friday off. Mm -hmm. So that's why we set that expectation clearly right from the start. 
because these people paying for you get ready for you and we want you to be here. I apologise for talking to the wrong people. Talking to the wrong people. Because Wilson comes every single day. And I, and I, and I, I rail against something that happens in all of our presentations. This is what happens. Uh, we have great kids come across stage with 120, I'm not going to embarrass you. 128, I mean, I mean that's my boss. Come across stage, 128 NCAA credits. You know, and um, it's an awesome achievement for a young man. And, but the biggest gasp that happens is when they say at 100% attendance over the last three years. You know, because this young man has decided to get out of bed and not go back every morning. He's decided to plant his feet and go to school. But we still consider that a, something miraculous that that happens. You know, it's, it's, and, and your parents can tell you to get out of bed. Your parents can say you need to, you need to drive that motivation yourself. Um, that needs to be a norm. You know, attendance is important. And the, the, the last thing I'll say about that is just our behaviour in our classrooms, which is your kids are beautiful, and which are exceptional. And I've been very tough on students that, have, that um, and I make no apologies for that, that uh, detract from the learning of others. And to my huge shame, and I, and I thank my, my uh, colleagues on the board of trustees, it's my huge shame, I go, go home and I think, uh, head in hand sometimes. I don't want to kick kids out of, of school. It's, you know, um, and it's been sometimes I've dropped you at home and I, I've, I've failed. I haven't done a good enough job. I haven't been able to keep this young person in, in our classes. Predominantly Māori, and as a Māori man, I'm, I feel that I'm not doing enough. You know, I predominantly Māori and telling the same story. I'm, I'm committed to doing, making, ma making sure that that's better, but we need to have order in the classroom so we can make it a place where you're learning and all those kinds of things. But it's something that I'll get better. So I just need to be calm. I need you to watch your job. Um, to finish up, I'll just quickly tell you just a, a little bit about my background. I ran schools in London City, in Perkin, in Brixton, and Hackney, three secondary schools, four primary schools. I, I just to tell you a, short, um, a, a story of hope and a story of aspiration. I, I took over a school called Cherry Park, and um, I got all the kids in the schools closed and reopened under new leadership. 240 kids in year um, uh, 13. Um, and uh, said to them that the data and statistics here say only 2% of you um, will leave to employment, education, or further training. Only 2%. So I picked out about four kids and I said, That's you. The rest of you can go home now because we're not going to do anything for you because it's just these four. But we believe as a team that something great will happen, that something inspirational will happen here. And with the great work of great dedicated staff in London. 78% of the students are off to university. The attendance right across the school is 98.1% as of yesterday when I, when, I, when I ran up. That's down to great teachers, great community, and great commitment to education. So it's a story to hope now. I'm, I'm telling you this um, because um, they come from abject poverty. And real poverty, real poverty is not about money, it's not even an opportunity for education. And I, I make no, I look at you and I think you're fabulous and I just want you to make the most of this opportunity. When I went back to London this year, up here, I showed pictures of Massey High School. And um, one of my, uh, it was on uh, Polyfest, and we had our, um, our uh, Samoan group and our um, uh, uh, Kapaha group somewhere outside, and kids were playing rugby, so I took a photo, it was a beautiful scene. I sent it to my head girl and head boy from, uh, from London and coined it. And a head girl, um, emailed me straight back and she said, Sir, she said, your school's like ours. You haven't got any white people either. <laughs> and emailed me. It's like you go out and find something. So it's not the same. And this, when she, she's a, you'd love her. She's, a, she's a, an inspirational. And she said, Is it a private school? And um, I said, No, it's not a private school. She, and I said, Why? She said, Because you've got grass. You've got grass, yeah. You know, so I look at you and I think you're, we are blessed. We are blessed to be here. And this auditorium for people that love you and that care about you and think the world of you. We are blessed. Uh, uh, your job is to do one great thing. Your job is to, is to teach somebody to do one great thing. Greatness is about sharing of yourself and putting yourself separate. So that's the key thing in this situation. We celebrate you. I want you to take this home and hug your family and hug your parents and tell me love and everybody that you see the teachers and all that kind of thing. But then when, you, when you're uh, in bed or where tomorrow morning, I just want you to think just one thing. 
And can I tell you about one thing? That one thing is as small as some of our students coming in, looking to be upset, and just saying this, you'll be okay. That's it. That's it. That's what, that's what greatness is about. So share it. We want you to travel the world. You know that. We want you to go and spread the word. We want you to come home. Go and tell us about it. Stand here and talk to our kids about it. So I leave you with this. Um, I think the education system here are the precipice of something and, and uh, I'm concerned about it. You know, when I left New Zealand 15 years ago, we were still talking about peace celebrating. We're still talking about peace celebrating. We're still judging schools because they're decile 1 or decile 10. No decile schools hire a decile 10 schools publish it. Look at us. Can I be really clear to everyone? That's not a measure of quality. It's a funding formula. It means nothing about the quality of the school. We stand here, one of the best schools in the country. Do you know? And, and um, you might have seen the newspaper today about low decile schools. I challenge that. Because if you go to my Tuckery College and you see Mr. Shanahan and you look at the stuff that he's doing, it's exceptional. If you look at Gary Moore, what he's doing, Mike Purcell at, uh, at Henderson, Linda Fox, Brian Evans, can I say this to you? Invest in the West. We don't need to send 4,000 kids leave uh, West Auckland and go to the harbour and to Auckland. You tell us when we come home. Because we have great teachers here. They're all sitting here behind us. We have great teachers in our schools. I always say to people, why should we go to Massey? You can go to Massey and go to Waitaki. Just stay with us. Stay with us. That's the goal. Because we're every bit as good as any of the other schools in this country. Every bit as good. And these kids, every bit as good as those kids that go to so Cuthbert, Baradine, Westlake girls, Westlake boys, and we should all be proud of them. So we must, we must, we cannot accept that. We cannot accept that. And I'm going to come on to, I want you, now I talk to those who are in year 12, to, to look great. And I feel really uh, emotional about it when I say that. Because when I started here, um, um, I feel very, it just really lines me up. And I want, first of all, they said to me, um, oh, my friends, oh, good to have you homegrown. Uh, we are working. I said, oh, I'm at Massey. Um, they said, out west. And they uh, yeah. And it's that look. It's not right. It's that outrageous fortune look. <laughs> but I, I don't, you know. And when I come out here, do you know who the, the people that, that don't talk well about West Aucklanders? That's West Auckland. We're, we're better than that. We are better than that. We are better than that. And we've got to start using the language of aspiration. We've got to start using words like we are outstanding. That's why I tell you on assembly that we love you. That's why I tell you that. That's why I tell you all these people here are outstanding teachers. That's why I say that to you. Because you need to hear it every single day. From lips to heart. From lips to heart. And you tell other people about it. And our job here tonight is for you as parents and carers to tell everybody that, that you know about what happened here tonight about achievement. Do you know, so, I've come into West Auckland, I'm immensely proud, and I want you to, to look great. Let me tell you this, we've had lots of talk and lots about beautiful and that kind of thing. I keep telling people, listen to me, the coat's the same. I'm just, I just want to change the wrapper. That's all I want to do, is change the wrapper. And I'm emotional about it because um, people that look at us and see that we've got dress right, or our kids walk off and they look scruffy, and it doesn't look right, but I've heard things that I said about it. You know, I'm trying to change that perception. A perception of reality. And this is the thing. When uniform blazers and ties, and don't forget we've got a history of this. We've worn blazers since at least 1993, our first 15. There are students here that wear blazers as prefects. What does those blazers mean? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sign of excellence. I have faith in you that you are excellent. I have faith in you that you are outstanding. All of our kids are outstanding. All of our kids are great. I oh, want our kids looking fantastic blazing times in a way that says we're about achievement. And we'll encourage people to come and talk to us and find out what, what, what we're about. That's why it's important. I, I think you deserve the very, very best qualifications, the way you look, the way you present yourself, because you deserve it and you're worth it. And trust me, um, we have you know, these enormous amounts of money that have been raised and subsidised places, all of those kinds of things. I want to put that thing to the side. You deserve to be the best, the way you look, the way you are. Can I just finish by saying, I can only promise that I can work hard. I never think I work hard enough. Um, and I can only promise that I can work as hard as I can. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. Shakira and Eric will tell you, this is really like this. 
<laughs> I made mistakes, and they're very quick to tell me. And as I say, they broke my boss. So I make mistakes, but I work hard to rectify those mistakes in everything that I do. Um, as parents, as carers, bless you all. Thank you for coming here tonight. Um, because what you said is the future of New Zealand, and it's great. Thank you. Year 12 and 13. Mr. Tower, Assistant Principal, will announce the Year 12 prize winners. It is my pleasure to read the Year 12 prize winners for 2015. I will call the students up in small groups. Please hold your applause until the end of each group. I'd like to ask Mr. Tinley to present the awards. Anna Fata. Twelve ACZ. Callan Collins. First in Digital Technology Information 201. Second in Art Design 201. Moesha Fainu'u Ele. First in Tourism 203. Rose Lee. First in Pre Intermediate English 4. Kaylin Self. Excellence in Performance Award, Year 12 Dance. 12A5. Brad Cronin. First in English 203. First in Geography 202. Second in Science 201. 12 ABS, Alicia Baxter, the Diana Moorhead Cup for Creative Writing, second in English, 200. 200. Roy Eel, first in Drama, 201. Nikita McDonald, first in Orva Early Childhood Academy, second in Mathematics 202. Studies 201, third in English 200. Ruby Poulter, first in Design and Visual Communication 201, prize donated by National Art Supplies Limited. Kadama Tenkinko, first in Orba Automotive Engineering Studies. <coughs> Prize donated by Trade Tools. Elaine Zan, first in French 201, they created Voicier Trophy for Oral French. <coughs> 12 KSH, Tyrone Carden. First in Orba Hospitality Academy, Level 2. Second in Geography, 202. Angela Wang. First in Mathematics, 210. 12 KTT. Rahira Farero. First in Mathematics, 201.
Rebecca France. First in Spanish 201, first in drama 201. Grace Lelisi. First in health 201, prize donated by department. <coughs> Finley McLaren. First in automotive 203. Anish Mohali, first in German 201, first in History 201, prize donated by department, first in Science 201. Sean Oakley, first in Physical Education 201, prize donated by Club Physical. Twelve NJD Josiah Leaf First in English two oh one twelve MWG Stephanie Baker First in Sports Academy two oh one prize donated by Club Physical Second in Biology two oh one Catinia Fusitua Excellence in Choreography Award Year 12 dance. <laughs> Piha. 12 PGU. Tara Klee. The Waitakere Trust Award for diligent classroom effort. Prize donated by the Waitakere Licensing Trust. <coughs> Sky O'Brien, first and gateway. <coughs> Hayden Tejada, the Sly's Pianos Cup for outstanding performer in year 12. Prize donated by Sly's Piano Limited. Twelve PKN. Caleb Freder, second in Orva Carpentry Academy. <coughs> Veronica Leanne Saw, first in Mathematics two one three. Second in Accounting 201. <coughs> Ashley Caulfield, first in Biology 201. Daniel Clark, first in Accounting 201, second in Chemistry 201, third in Physics 201. Madison Coleman, first in English 200, second in History 201, the Cabaret Trophy for contribution to school musicals. <coughs> Bethan Eakins, the Susan Porter Peace Essay Trophy for Year 12, winner of the writing competition, presenter, presented by Lorna Winner.
Shane Doralja, First in Dance Academy. Michelle John, First in Food Technology 201, Tires Donated by Department. <coughs> Nicholas Condu, First in Physics 201, Third in Biology 201, Second in Mathematics with Statistics 301. Rita Lang, First in Music 201, the Piano Traders Award Trophy for Year 12 Composer of the Year, prize donated by Piano Traders Limited. Wilson Lin, first in Computer Science 201. Alex Palivit. First in Chemistry 201, second in Physics 201, third in Mathematics with Calculus 301. First in the Hospitality Component of Orva, Hospitality Tourism Academy. Second in the Tourism Component of the Orva, Tourism Hospitality Academy. Juliana Jung. First in Fabric 201. Carla Miller. First in Art Design 201. Marshall Moran, first in Orva Carpentry Academy.
So we're going to play Crazy by Nels Buckley. <coughs>
Shavrina Prakash, first in Art Design 301. Keeping Tamayo, first in Mathematics 302. 1388, Lesky Beach, first in Classical Studies 301, prize donated by department. First in Health 301, prize donated by department. Third in English 301. Gordon Heath, first in English 301, first in Mathematics with Calculus 301, second in Accounting 301, third in Biology 301. The Sylvia Murphy Award for Top Year 13 English Student. Brittany Hinton, first in Fabric Technology 301, prize donated by department. Jasmine Hopperis. First in Tourism 303, third in Media Studies 301. <laughs> Yu Chen Xiao, first in Chinese 301, second in Mathematics with Calculus 301. Sotak Kamiya, first in Mathematics with Statistics 301, second in Classical Studies 301, prize donated by department. Grayson Leslie, the Waitakere Trice Award for Diligent Classroom Effort. Stephen Arrhenia, first in Physics 301, second in Chemistry 301, the Merriman Cup for Involvement in Mathematics Outside the Classroom. Prize donated by Mr. and Mrs. Mary. Kyla Palmer, first in Biology 301, first in Chemistry 301, first in Geography 300, second in Physics 301, the Shine Sisters Cup for the top female scholar in science. Prize donated by the Shine family. Jack Parkinson, first in Sports Academy 301, prize donated by Club Physical, and his colours for football. <coughs> James Scott, first in Media Studies 301. Quinn Thomas, John Key Cup for Community Affairs and Good Citizenship, a contribution to School Council, prize donated by Recreational Services. Louise Vader, Sly's Piano Cup for Outstanding Performer in Year 13. 
prize donated by Slice Piano Hamilton. Annie Wade, first in Japanese 301. Kate Fonipoli, 100% attendance for five years. <laughs> Burns once again for 301. <laughs> 13, KNX. Amelia Jenkins. Kathy Gilmore Award for Contribution to Drama. Prize to Native Black Club. Johan John. First in History 302, prize donated by department. First in Mathematics 301, 100% attendance for five years. <laughs> Joshua Tree, first in Mathematics 322, third in Mathematics 302. Eric Williams, first in Physical Education 301, Prize donated by Club Physical. Harry Wood, Agiala Barista Cup for excellence in barista training and service. Amy Wooden, first in drama 301. Traders 
Sejana Morbi, Felicia Namir and Deborah Award for Outstanding Attitude and Conscientious Effort in the Gateway Program. The letter of Sabaka, Leadership in Pacific Island Culture. Monica Smith, First in Dance Academy. Faisal Ganji, first in Economics 301, second in History 301, third in Accounting 301, third in Geography 300. 13, BKX, Samantha Elwood, first in Art Painting 301, prize donated by department. Lynn Palais Cup for peer support. 1st in Physics 302, 2nd in English 301. 301. Ivy Wong, 2nd in Design and Visual Communication 301, 3rd in History 301, 100% attendance for 5 years. Thank you, Mr. Feely. Good evening, everyone. My name is Colin Riseborough. It's my uh, privilege to announce the names of the special awards for this evening. The first few, and then along with 
Mrs. Cranston and Dr. Smith, who also present some further awards. I'd like to ask Mr. Curran to please come forward for the first four awards to present them. And I'd like to ask these four please to come forward to the side of the stage. Rishé Lamatoa, Jonathan Sula, Christopher Laurie, and Dorian Villiamu. If you go to the side, please. Rishé, running around, you're the first. This is the long run around the back. This first award is the Colleen Cameron Cup for Outstanding Contribution in Leadership, Excellence and Service to Music, prize donated by the Massey High School Foundation, Rishay Lamatoa, 13 TTA. The Colleen Cameron Cup again for Outstanding Contribution in Leadership, Excellence and service to dance. This prize donated by the Massey High School Foundation, Jonathan Sula, 13 MMO. <laughs> the Student Support Services Award, this is the Kevin Herwini Award, prize donated by Recreational Services Limited, Christopher Laurie, 12 AFR. And the Rewa Salmisi Award for Outstanding Pacific Island Student. This prize is a shell and is to be presented by uh, to Dorian Viliamu, 13 PKX. <laughs> well done to all of you. Next awards are firstly the, these cloaks, which have been made and will be presented tonight by Hinikura uh, Lisa Smith and also Fire Nahira Taiten. These are for the contribution to uh, Te Ao Māori within the school. The first cloak is the boys' cloak. This is Te Aka Ki Kahurangi. Presented tonight again to Manahira Waru of 13 PCD. It's the Fire Te Iti Kaharangi, presented tonight to Tarina Tepu Takarira of 13 PCD. Also, also the John Tapiata Award tonight. This is the award for the highest academic achieving Māori student. And this will be presented by Fire Nahibla Tai Tin, prize donated by Royal Heights Medical Centre to Brooke Tamagor, 13 PKX.
next award now, which you also are up here for. This award is for the Sports Person of the Year. So I'm going to ask Mr. Uh, Talva, if he could come forward, to present these two awards. And this first award for the Female Sports Person of the Year, I'm going to read a little bit out about you, Brooke. This prize, by the way, is donated by Royal Heights, Royal Heights Medical Centre. Brooke is an enthusiastic member of her form class. And she has that rare ability in other classes of forming a group around her who will all work together in a very positive and cooperative learning environment. She is a dedicated and committed student. Her only absences all year have been for skating trips. She has passed 49 out of 54 credits with an amazing 44 of these at excellence level. She needs six more to gain level three endorsed with excellence. Brooke has level one endorsed with excellence and level two with merit and has had all five subjects endorsed at both levels. That is a fairly unique achievement. Brooke's teachers comment that she is a hardworking, conscientious and focused student who sets very high standards for herself. Brooke has been a silver badge prefect, a peer supporter, a leader in the animal welfare group and in PB4L uh, and she participates in school activities such as the Tough Guy Girl Challenge and Year 13 Camp. She has, she has balanced all this with her sports training and at the same time has commuted an hour and a half by bus this year because they've moved to a different location in Auckland to get to school. Rather than leave Massey High School, she has commuted an hour and a half by bus this year. This year she gained first place in every club championships. She is the North Island Junior Ladies Champion. Talk about skating here. The New Zealand Junior Ladies Champion. 15th at an ISU international competition, the Asian Trophy figure, state, figure Skating Championships held in Bangkok. In October, Brooke attended the Junior Grand Prix Comp in Croatia, amongst some of the best skaters in the world. Brooke is a member of the International A Squad and the International Development Squad, and she qualified to compete at the Australian Figure Skating Nationals in December. Well done, Brooke. Not only the top achiever academically in Māori, but the female sports person of the year. Well done, Brooke. <laughs> now, the male sports person of the year, Jake Meanhorse, 13 PKX. Have a little bit to read out about you, Jake. Jake is an extremely high achiever in golf. In December 2014, Jake won the Berthelsen Memorial Trophy Tournament and the Auckland Star Boys Trophy. He is the Auckland Under-19 champion and was fifth in the Auckland Anniversary Tournament. He is the Walkworth Open champion. He was fifth in the North Island Under-17 Championships and 7th in the Bay of Plenty Open. He was also 3rd in the New Zealand Under-19 Champs, leading by 2 going into the final round. He was 1st in the Huapai Junior Classic, and 1st in the Huapai Match Play Club Champs. Jake is always a calm, helpful, cooperative student in form class, and he applies the same commitment and dedication to the rest of his school life that he applies to golf. His attendance is almost perfect, except for golfing days and school trips. He passed 62 out of 67 credits this year, with 43 of them at merit or excellence level, which means he's well on the way to gaining level 3 endorsed with merit. Jake gained level 1 with a merit endorsement and has merit subject endorsements in level accounting and, and geography at both level 1 and 2. He's been a silver badge prefect this year and he has joined in school activities such as Year 13 camp 
and the inter-school sports competitions last year. In all his reports, Jake's teachers comment on his sound subject knowledge and that he's a pleasure to teach. Jake is also finalist for the ASB College Sport uh, Young Sportsman of the Year Awards. Well done, Jake, Male Sportsman of the Year. Thank you, Mr. Toto. Please to go up to the awards table just to present these awards, please. Up to the top. <laughs> Confusing myself. This first award, the Board of Trustees Award for All Round Excellence, uh, this prize is donated by the Board of Trustees, and this is the Year 12 Board of Trustees Award, Daniel Clark, 12 years in. For a moment. Daniel is an outstanding student who works to push his own limits and extend his personal goals on a regular basis. Rising to meet new challenges is an intrinsic quality of Daniel's and this is something that motivates him to set and maintain high standards in his academic and extracurricular involvement. Daniel has been an active participant, uh, participant in school football teams since year nine. He is a student leader in the PSSP team and a, and a class representative on the PNAS Senate. This year, Daniel has been a leader in the school's PB4L student team, representing Massey High School in and around Auckland at speaking engagements where he presents and promotes the Massey High School values and PB4L progress to educators and ministry representatives. Daniel has been a participant in the Gifted and Talented Student Conference at some uh, St. Catherine's College, the National Young Leaders Day, and he's always keen to volunteer for school events. To date, Daniel has gained 76 excellence credits at levels 2 and 3, gaining all but 6 credits offered to him in 2015 at the excellence level. In addition to this, Daniel has recently been elected by the students of Massey High School as a Student Board of Trustees representative. The Board of Trustees Award for All Round Excellence. Well done, Daniel. And this is for the Year 13 Board of Trustees Award, Whitney Hinton, 13 APA. Just read this first this time, Whitney. Whitney is a dedicated and hard-working student who has gained an outstanding academic record whilst maintaining involvement in the wider facets of school life. She gained both her NCA Levels 1 and 2 certificates endorsed with excellence and has gained 28 of her 55 Level 3 credits thus far at excellence level. She takes responsibility for her own learning, showing determination and dedication. She has been an integral part of the Anafata Senate, was central to the Ball Committee this year, and has been a dedicated peer supporter. Whitney has also found the time to represent the school in sports as varied as tennis, basketball, and lawn bowls. Threading through this has been her commitment to fashion design and the technology department, helping organize their annual fashion exhibitions and creating costumes for this year's production. This time last year, Whitney was appointed to the 2015 Community Leader Gold Badge position in recognition of her contribution to wider school life and leadership skills. She has fulfilled this role with pride and she has discharged her duties with a deep sense of responsibility. Whitney is a, a lovely young woman who epitomizes the Massey High School values. She has been a tireless ambassador for the school 
and as a worthy recipient of the Board of Trustees Award. Well done, Whitney. Thank you, Mr. Gorell. I'm going to ask uh, you, Mr. Denham, if you would go up for the presentation of the next award, please. And this is the Principal's Award for Overcoming Adversity. The prize is donated by the Principal. And I'm going to ask Gloria Kim of 13 PKX to come forward, please. I think we'll claim you now, Gloria, as well. Something to read about you, Gloria. Gloria was born with a cleft palate and lip and endured several delicate operations on her face as a child to correct the positioning of her palate. She also has substantial hearing loss and wears hearing aids in both ears. Gloria unfortunately additionally developed serious vitiligo and needs to avoid sunlight to prevent permanent scarring from loss of melanin in her skin. But Gloria has never let her serious medical conditions get in the way of her life. She definitely would be one of the most friendly and outgoing students in the school. She greets every staff member in a warm and respectful way, even if they do not teach her. She has a sunny disposition and is always cheerful. Her teachers always comment on how much they have enjoyed teaching her. She relates well to her peers and will always volunteer to help with any project. Gloria's attendance is extremely high and she takes minimal time off school for all her medical appointments. Gloria has been a member of the HAPS class and is a strongly academic student. She gained her level one with excellence overall and narrowly missed, narrowly missed out on the same last year, but did gain an excellent endorsement endorsement in English, and merit endorsements in all her other subjects. She has 26 level 3 excellence and 7 merit credits to date, and has not failed a single standard. Next year, Gloria intends to study health science at Auckland or Otago, she's applied for both, to realise her goal to study medicine. She has fully involved herself in the wider life of the school. Gloria has been a caring peer supporter and has always been busy helping organise the school ball this year on the ball committee, also been busy. She is a leader in the life group this year and last year was very busy in Piha Senate and was also an active member of animal welfare and the astronomy group. Gloria is a role model to all and thoroughly deserves this award as her adversity appears to have never held Gloria back from seeking and achieving the heights. Congratulations, Gloria. school, one in year 12, one in year 13. So for our father, and I'm going to ask each of the two from each school to stand at the front and we'll just uh, applaud you again at the end. So the first two from 12 ABS, Alicia Baxter, and from 13 APA, Whitney Hinton.
Mr. Ball and Mrs. Hatton to present the Karikari Awards. 12K BT Matthew Fraser and 13K Lex Varshan Perry. School, Mr. Lambert and Mrs. Ashford to present the, the Excellent Citizenship Awards to 12 BTU Megan Balka and 13 BTL Sasha Gia Park Labor. Excellent citizenship, well done to all of you. Thank you to the deans. I'd like to ask Mr. Craig Walker to present the next award. And this is the school cup. Fitting that it's presented tonight by a foundation student at the school. I'm not sure whether I should read them in reverse order again and read it all five or just read the top one or what shall I do? Oh, they know. That's the wrong. Fifth place, Alafata, 16. Fourth place, Tehinga, 19. Third place, Pihar, 25. Second place, Motorway, and the winners, first place, Kali Kali, again, Thank you, Mr. Walker, and thank you, Deans, <coughs> Dr. Smith. Good evening, everyone. 
one. We are really fortunate in our school that a number of tertiary institutions and trust organisations provide monetary rewards for our students for the next three and um, sixteen and beyond. We are really grateful for the assistance in helping our students onto the next stage of their education. So I can start off with the University of Auckland. If I can ask Kinakura Lisa Smith, professional teaching fellow for Tapuna Wanaga Faculty of Education and Social Work at the University of Auckland to present the awards. The first award is the University of Auckland Scholarships. This is only awarded to 100 students nationally. It covers tuition and compulsory fees, which are paid for three years, plus $2,500 a year in academic lecturing. It is worth approximately $19,000. <coughs> this scholarship is awarded to recognize and award academic excellence, all roundability and leadership potential. The award, the University of Auckland Scholarship Award, goes to the Golden Heath 13 APA. <laughs> It's the 
Academic Excellence Scholarship. This is presented by Haley Nicholson, the Liaison Officer for the University of Otago. The scholarship selection is based on academic achievement and leadership demonstrated throughout school, supporting <coughs> cultural or community involvement. The scholarship is valued up to $4,500 over three years. The recipient is Yu Chen Shao. Scholarships are awarded to two students in each partner school. If students are nominated by their school, they must have demonstrated both a sound attitude, attitude, attitude and attitude for the area of study they intend to undertake. So the first is the Unitech Partner School Scholarship. The scholarship covers $2,500 of academic tuition for the first year of study in 2016. The scholarship winner is Tane Carrington, 13 PGL. I might keep that then. <laughs> the second one is the Unitech 2016 Partner School Scholarship. This scholarship covers full academic tuition fees for the first year of study in 2016. The scholarship winner is Alicia Fowler, 13 and $12,000 towards university costs, paid with, and personal mentor. The scholarship winner is Wilson Lynn, 12 PSN. Katie Kim, 13 MMO, 
Kanto Kanishi, 13 TTU. Tua Lamalu, 13 AHK. Grace Ma, 13 ABA. Aaron Nell, 13 FMO. Stephen Arania, 13 APA. James Scott, 13 APA. Quinn Thomas, 13 APA. Tan Hiki Timeline, 13 MMO. Brooke Tanapo, 13 PKX. And Jennifer Clay, Vandermeer, 13 MMO. the senior scholarship and each of the seven faculties. They will be presented by the faculty leaders. So the faculty advance, which will be presented by Mrs. Waters, the recipient of that award is Leonard Laureate, prize donated by Royal Heights Medical Centre. Congratulations. <laughs> Faculty is Effective Health and Physical Education, and that award will be presented by Mr. Toda, prize donated by Ian Miles, Landscape One. The recipient of that award is Jessica Beach, beating APA. <laughs> the next faculty award is Language and Languages, presented by Ms. Carrier. Prize donated by Royal Heights Medical Centre. The recipient of that award is Gloria Kim, 13 PKX. <laughs> Faculty of Social Sciences, presented by Mr. Beach. Prize donated by Ian Miles, Landscape One. 
the recipient of this award is Faisal Ganji, doing PGL. I'm 
She's assisted with Simone Coat, for example, over the years, and Simone speech competitions, leading to performances at school and polyfest. She's helped set up the African Cultural Group in 2014, and she traveled to China with a group of students and staff to promote cultural language experience. The recipient is Mela Alatasi. <laughs>
academic leaders, Gordon Heath and Carla Palmer. Community leaders, Quinn Thomas and Whitney Hill. Cultural leaders, Jonathan Sula and Lazarus Sala. Arts leaders, Brian Kasmara and Moshe Lamatov. Sports leaders, Cody Castle and Leah Benjamin. Thank you, Mr. Walker. And thank you to Gold Badge Prefix 2015. are Christian Leo Willey and Gabby Nemo. Jaden Carrington and Stasia Tomitoli. Our 
the academic leaders. We're, we've reviewed the nature of this role for next year, and we've been looking for students who are not only succeeding at the highest levels, but who, who can affect change in the student body, particularly in regard to improving student performance. Your academic leaders for 2016 are James Bush and Jane Berelgen. Just take a little bit of a here for the time being. As you're aware, Massey High School has an ever growing role of international students. To recognise this, we are pleased to announce that two leadership positions have been created to nurture leadership and promote ties within the school and the wider community. Your new international prefix 2016 are Shen Yi Chen, Andy, and Wang Meng Lixian. We now come to the announcement of the head prefix for 2016. The selection process is thorough and much deliberation was required to separate the high quality candidates. For those who missed out, there will be other leadership opportunities that arise. Deputy Head Boy. This young man is enthusiastic, thoughtful, and friendly. Described by his teachers as an exemplary student, he has been involved in tennis, gymnastics, fencing, PSSP, and PHA Center. His sister was community leader in 2013, and he this year turned in perhaps one of the most memorable performances seen in a school production portraying Edna Turnblad in Hesper. He came to us from Waimaku School. Your deputy head boy for 2016 is Neil McFadden. dancer, performing Bring It On, and with the MDC. A highlight thus far in her career was her visit to Las Vegas last year. She was a year 11 prefect, came to her from Massey from Lincoln High School. Your deputy head girl for 2016 is Kaylin Self.
This young man epitomizes the Massey High School values. He maintains the highest standards and all that he turns his hand to. He's been a regular feature in school football teams, as an integral member of the PB4L team, going so far as to be the spokesman for presentations to educators and the Ministry of Education. To date, he's gained all but six of his credits in 2015 at excellence level. In his time here, he's gained every credit offered. He comes to us from Massey Primary School and was recently elected by the student body to be their representative on the Board of Trustees. Massey High School's head boy for 2016 is Daniel Clark. undertaking NZQA scholarship examinations in statistics and English. A kind, warm, effervescent student, she also has come to us from Wainaki Primary School. She has performed in Hairspray, is a member of the school choir, taken part in the stage challenge, and in 2014 won Best Original Song Duet at Rockwest together with her sister, who was arts leader at the time. Your head girl for 2016 is Rita Lang. Engineer, 
manager at Macca's or chief executive of Pack and Save, I know that you are all meant for great things and I genuinely mean that. If Massey has taught me anything, it is to not go through the books, but to learn about life and the road ahead of me. I know that without the people who put so much hard work and dedication into us, we would be nowhere we we are today. I would like to particularly thank our ex-principal, Mr. Ritchie, for his inspiring leadership. For the four years I've, that I have had him as a principal, he represented the school in the most humble and caring way possible. He stood by us in times of our success and congratulated us on both our wins and losses. I would also like to thank our new principal, Mr. Denham, the senior leadership team, and for Mr. Grudget for all the hard work and for simply being amazing. While standing beside Mr. Denham hasn't always been easy, as you can tell by the height difference, I can honestly say that there has not been a single day as to when I was inspired by his wise and kind words. His gratitude, love, and sense of humour is something that I will never forget, and I know that Mr. Ritchie couldn't have left the school in better hands. To the teachers and staff who have worked day and night just to prepare resources and is always there to help, I would like to thank you all on behalf of everyone for not just teaching us what's required to pass NCA, but for your advice, faith, and most importantly, for the love that you give us. To my mum and dad, who sacrificed so much and for not clipping my wings, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. To my siblings, especially Sharon and Herman, thank you for being my number one supporters, but most importantly of all, thank you for your love, late night talks, and for being there when I needed it the most. I would also like to extend my thanks to our school dad, Mr. Feely. While writing this speech, I found myself not knowing how to thank you for everything, because truthfully, one thank you wouldn't do justice as to how grateful I am for all that you have done for us. I can honestly say that we have been blessed beyond measure to be able to work with such a funny, caring, wise, and an amazing person. To the gold badges for 2016, I congratulate you all, and I know you guys are all going to do an amazing job. First, sorry. Firstly, to the Silver and Gold Badge family, thank you for all that you have done and for your hard work and dedication that you have all put throughout this year. Without any of you for this year, for this year it would have not been possible. To my partner in crime, Eric Williams, thank you for all of your off-tune singings, but most importantly of all, thank you for being one of the best partners I have to work with and for always having my back no matter what. To Sarah, my sister, and Dorian, my grandmother. Thank you for the laughter, pranks, dry jokes, or for all of those McDonald's sessions where stealing each other's chips became so normal, and for simply being the best two pities ever. And lastly, to you, the students. Thank you for being such a downright, talented, and beautiful bunch. I have truly been blessed to be part of such an amazing school and family. And lastly, to finish off, I want to answer a question. One of the most common things that gets asked of me is, where is Massey High School? And if any of you have represented the school or play sports, I'm sure you'll get the same exact question. So I want to answer this question in a special way. Where is Massey High School? Massey is where you will not find the security of door locks at the C-block toilets or the comfort of a set com common room, but you will find comfort in the support of your fellow peers. Massey is where we have new names for everything. What they call Dark Master, we call Mr. Denim. And what they call New Zealand's next top model, we call Whitney Hinton. <laughs> Massey is where we have such great leaders like Eric, Dorian and Sierra. And even then, even then they are still amongst the few drops of a waterfall of leadership under this roof. Massey is where miracles happen every single day. And no, I'm not just talking about the grand events like the school ball, but I'm talking about the more meaningful miracles. To have students represent the school on world stage and for them to pick up the pen and turn it towards education, that is a miracle. It's where teachers sacrifice the interval and lunch times just to see us succeed in every field. For them to sacrifice their time like that, that is what I call a miracle. And to have two parents that sacrificed everything and to come to New Zealand as a refugee so that one day, hopefully, their children could have a better life and that one day, one of them could be head girl of Massey High School, that is what I call the miracle. My miracle. So I want you to know this. For all of your potassium needs, there's Kakistan. And for everything else, absolutely everything else, there's Massey. Ten letters, five words, two words, sorry, Ten letters, five years, two words, but only one way. 
Thank you, Mercy High School, for the big five of your life. staff, distinguished guests, and of course the year 12 and 13 prize winners of 2015. What a great night it has been so far. I stand before you at the end of what has been an amazing and unforgettable journey. I still can't believe that the last five years here at Massey High School have gone by so quickly. It is with a sense of both sorrow, joy and gratitude that I reminisce on the days past. I'd like to thank all those who have befriended me over the last five years and been a part of an amazing chapter in my life. To the teachers, who have invested so much time and effort into ensuring our success, to the deans for keeping us on track and full of personal consultations, to those who fund our school, and of course a huge thank you to all the parents and caregivers for your ongoing support. Massey is a great school because we have great people backing it. My time at Massey has offered me so many opportunities, given me many memories and taught me many things. Massey has given me the opportunity to develop as an adult and leader who has become increasingly prepared for what life has to throw at me in the future. When I look back on my time, I remember many fantastic memories. Shaking the hand of the Right Honourable John Key, watching my friends grow into adults as years pass by, the ever-changing appearance and aroma of the seawalk toilets, and oh, yes. <laughs> the smile on the faces of my loved ones as I was announced your head boy for 2015. I have learned that there is no substitute for hard work, and through observation, of course, that even in a suit and dress shoes, no wagger outruns Mr. Jones. <laughs> As many of you may know, this year we welcomed in a new principal, Mr. Glee Denham. His predecessor, Mr. Bruce Ritchie, was a hugely respected name within this community and many others. He was a leader by example, walked the walk, and left a great decade-long legacy after he retired. So, Mr. Denham, no pressure. <laughs> it is great to see Mr. Ritchie continuously supporting Massey High School. It was saddening to see one great legacy come to a close, but when one door shuts, another one is open. Mr. Denham, congratulations on a terrific year. Thank you for being alive and for all you uh, did for us and helped us with this year. We are all very excited to see the changes to come for Massey and wish you luck for the rest of your time here. Both the Year 13s and Year 12s hold very special places in my heart. Year 13s, we started here together and we will finish here together. We have made it. We have similarities and differences, but in 2011, we were united as the turds of Massey High School. <laughs> you have been my classmates and my best friends since day one here. We are about to embark into the next exciting chapter of our lives, but do not forget that Massey High School is one of your homes. The introduction of the now Year 12s meant that our year we're no longer turds, so thank you. <laughs> it was a very exciting time, similar to graduating from the junior striped shirts to the senior white shirts. If amongst my excitement they ever referred to you as a turd former, I apologise. <laughs> we have all come a long way. Year 13s, keep seeking the heights. In year 12s, you have the most exciting year of high school yet to come. However, it is the busiest, so work hard and attend. Be excited. We are the world changers of tomorrow. Massey has equipped you with the knowledge and work ethic to take on any challenge that the future will throw you. It is now up to you to decide what you will do with your skills. Bruce Lee once said, Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. To be successful, we must be doers. Enough dreaming. Take action. Throughout the year, I had the pleasure of working alongside an extraordinary prefix squad. A special thank you to my Gold Bash team. Thank you for working so hard and congratulations on what you've accomplished this year. Thank you to Shakira for being an outstanding hit girl and the best partner in crime I could have wished for. You've been a great friend since the days of 9kVA all the way to 13k next. Congratulations on how far you've come. Dorian, thank you for being the most humble man to ever bless this earth and for teaching me the ways of the first 15 winner. Sarah, thank you for being on Shakira's side every time Dorian will call you dry. You have been great friends and partners, and I wish you well for the future. Thank you, Mr. Feely, the year 13 father, and the sacrifices he has made for us. 
You're awesome as a coordinator, and you're funny, sometimes. <laughs> Sadly, it was time for us to hang up our boots. But just as I said, when one door closes, another opens. Congratulations to the newly appointed Gold Badge Prefix. You're in for a very exciting year. And remember, with great power comes great responsibility. To the new head prefix, we have passed the torch on to you. Keep it burning bright. You have been appointed as one of the most prestigious leadership roles any school has to offer, and we trust that you will do an excellent job and represent the badge well. All gold badges are the embodiment of hard work, discipline, and leadership, so wear it with pride. Work hard, and if you ever need advice or a helping hand, we're more than happy to offer you our experience. Congrats to you, the prize winners. Good luck with exams in the future. May you accomplish all your goals and desires. Know that you will make mistakes and you may fail, but as long as you keep moving forward and learning, you will not be a failure. Michael Jordan said, I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. We once said that the sky was the limit, and now there are footsteps on the moon. Keep seeking the heights. And with that, I sign off as your head boy for 2015. Thank you. Thank you, Eric and Shakira. We wish you well for the future. And we want to thank you for your leadership this year at Mason High School. There are not yet four awards, and it's my pleasure to announce the four top academic awards for 2015. And to ask Dr. Smith and Mr. Jones, and Ms. Smith and Jones, <laughs> to present these awards. And these are for students who have achieved the academic heights. The first award is for second overall in year 12, the recipient, and this prize is donated by Centra Print Limited. The recipient is Rita Lang, 12 PSN. Just have something to read about you, Rita. Rita is a, a fantastically talented and highly able student who is committed and focused on her academic success. A brilliant student whose smile lights up any classroom, this year Rita has studied Level 3 Statistics, Level 2 Music, English, Chemistry and Physics. She has participated in the Scholarship Preparation Program and is readying herself to sit NZQA scholarship exams in both Statistics and English this year. In addition to being an extremely talented singer and songwriter, Rita has been a member of the Massey High School Brain Bee team, which placed third in the North Island competition. And she's also had roles in this year's school production of Hairspray, Stage Challenge, the School Choir, as well as being a participant in the National Young Leaders Day. To date, Rita has gained 105 credits at Level 2, with 75 credits at the Excellence Level. And so far in 2015, Rita has achieved all credits offered to her with excellence. A kind, empathetic and highly respectful student, Rita is undoubtedly deserving of this top honour. Second overall in Year 12, Rita Lang. The next award is the Nadi Naidu Award for the top student in Year 12. The recipient, Nicholas Condor. Nicholas is a diligent, focused, and passionate student. He is a top school debater and a keen archer. In 2014, Nicholas was awarded top honours in the North Island Brain Bee Competition at the University of Auckland, a competition that tests students' knowledge of neuroscience and brain development. Here, Nicholas was crowned the North Island winner. This year he travelled to Perth to compete in the Australasian final of the Brain B, where he was named the New Zealand champion, earning a place in the international final. In August, Nicholas travelled to Cairns.
to compete in the international brain bee final with top competitors from 23 other countries, where he placed first in the anatomy category and fourth overall in the world. In addition to this, Nicholas entered into the Education Perfect Social Sciences Championships, where he placed in the top 0.2% of 10,000 competitors from around the world. Nicholas has recently been selected as a candidate to attend the 2016 Rotary National Science and Technology Forum at the University of Auckland. This year, as part of his timetable, Nicholas opted to study two subjects at Level 3 and has been a participant in the scholarship preparation program where he is readying, readying himself to sit scholarship exams in both chemistry and statistics. To date, he has earned 100 credits at Level 2, 71 excellence credits at Levels 2 and 3, and is more than halfway to achieving his Level 3 certificate. Nicholas is a kind and respectful individual who is ultimately deserving of this award, the Nadi Naido Award, top student in Year 12, Nicholas Condal. Two awards. The first of these is the Peel Award for the Proximae Kisset. This is again presented by Dr. Smith and Mr. Jones. The prize is donated by North Harbour Signs. The recipient is Yu Chen Xiao, 1388. Yu Qian is the embodiment of the quiet achiever. She performs at the highest level academically and never appears flustered. She has approached all of her subjects with relish in the five years that she has been at Massey High School. She gained her NCA Levels 1 and 2 certificates with excellence endorsement, including a number of individual subject excellence endorsements. As a Year 12 student, a Yu Qian last year gained excellence endorsements in Level 3 Chemistry and Level 3 Statistics, as well as gaining an NZQA scholarship last year in Statistics. This year, she will undertake a further five scholarship examinations. For 2015, Yu Chen was appointed as a Silver Badge Prefect, and she fulfilled her duties diligently and with a deep sense of responsibility, particularly in terms of mentoring younger students. She also is the recipient of the Otago University Academic Excellence Scholarship, which will allow, allow her to pursue her studies in dentistry. <laughs> we congratulate Yu Chen Xiao on being Proxima Kesa for 2015. <laughs> we come now to our highest award of the evening, right on the summit. This is the School Ducks Award. It is the Clem Campton Award for the School Ducks. Will be presented tonight again by Dr. Smith and Mr. Mrs. Mr. Jones, and I think possibly Mr. Denham might join with this one too. The prize is donated by Mr. and Mrs. Heron, who are here tonight. The recipient is Gordon Heath, 13 years old. Gordon gained his NCA Levels 1 and 2 certificates endorsed with excellence. He gained individual excellence endorsements in nearly every subject he sat in 2013 and 2014. This included excellence endorsements in Level 3 Chemistry and Level 3 Statistics while he was a Year 12 student. To date, all 95 of his Level 3 credits are at excellence level. He attained an NZQA scholarship in statistics as a year 12 student and has this year also undertaken five scholarship examinations. Alongside his academic prowess, Gordon has maintained an active role in a variety of extracurricular activities, most notably as a member of the Massey High School First Eleven football team, 
and the orienteering team. Gordon was a key member of a Massey High School visit to schools in China and has been on the Spirit of Adventure voyage. This year he fulfilled the role of academic leader with pride and has been a diligent peer supporter and mentor. Gordon has recently been confirmed as the recipient of the University of Auckland Scholarship, which will enable him to pursue a degree in medicine. He is a worthy dux of Massey High School for 2015. You stand on the summit, Gordon. Ducks of Massey High School.
This is really the place to be.